uh, I feel very sad, yeah, because we are so close. We are so close. And these are things that come once in a lifetime. You know, I, I read somewhere that politics is, uh, is the art of a few organized people controlling a uh, disorganized majority. And uh, uh, guys, this is, this is Kenya's last best chance. And our children, our, our, our great grandchildren and our grandchildren will blame us. We, we are so close, guys. And uh, we have this guy cornered. You've seen his body language. Today he's, uh, today he's conceding, tomorrow he's threatening. So, to Shampata. And we are so close to Mepewa Pena, bro. To go one one. I love to Kapewa Pena at the 90th minute. Narazima to Fungi, bro. And brothers and sisters. So, as, as a person who, who has traveled this journey for quite a long time, a person who has endured so much, yeah, uh, who has suffered so much. Alafu kufika kwa apa kwa finishing line, alafu tuna stop, yani atu piti your line, tuna anza kwa disorganized. We need to understand that this thing is not just about Kenya. People have called me from Uganda that are going to parliament on Tuesday. They are looking upon us. Tanzania, Uganda, Africa is looking upon us. The whole world is discussing Kenya. CNN is here day in, day out. We are about, uh, we, are, we, are, we are the verge of making history and changing Kenya forever. We cannot lose this fight, especially now. If these people reorganize, re-strategize, and regroup, we will regret it. Yeah? And guys, we need to be very clear at this 11th hour. What do we want? What are we going for? And after we've achieved it, how, how do we move forward? Utunasema Ruto must go. If Ruto goes tomorrow, Gashagwa takes over. We must start changing our narrative and our, our, 